Do we disrupt our circadian rhythm by eating, working out at different times a day? No, no. Circadian rhythm is sleep and waking is are the main things that affect that. You, I mean, in other words, I, I guess if someone were to work out in the evening and it got them like energized and pumped and they had a hard time sleeping, that would affect it secondarily, but not not specifically, there's no direct effect by eating and all that. But first of all, you gotta stop eating a minimum three up to five hours before sleep. You have to, yeah, it's just very, very important. And I would say the same thing with uh, vigorous activity. It, it, the nighttime is to turn down, slow down. Slow the mind down, slow the body down, slow everything down. Just get ready for a beautiful, wonderful, rejuvenating sleep. That's what we gotta do. We gotta get ready for that fantastic experience. Every night we're blessed again. You realize that? Every night we're blessed again. We get a chance to start over again. You know, one of the things that I, I, I think about, um, when the mind is still, when the mind has no chatter, and it's like a lake, a, a flat lake, and the sky, the beautiful blue sky with the sun is just shining. You can see the whole picture, right? The divinity within us, the health, the healing, the life, the beauty, the, it just comes right through a mind that's flat. But a mind that's choppy, it blocks it all. Now, we're always, the mind's always going, right? Even when we're going to sleep, we have what? A large part of our sleep time is uh, we're dreaming. <sighs> we're active, we're running, whatever we're doing, we're, we're, we're still active. But there's a time during delta sleep where the mind is turned off. And in fact, that's where you go. Did, did you ever have a cat nap for five, for five minutes, 10 minutes, and you wake up, yeah. That's because you dipped into that. If you, what are you dipping into? You're dipping, it's, it's as if you're connect with God. You connect, you get totally re-energized. It's dipping into the ambrosia of divinity when the mind is off. That's why you want to get there. Because when you can imagine being there all the time, yeah, you'd be so full of light, people would be following you all over the place. Like, wow, this is gonna get near this guy, this lady. So sleep is that time when we get to renew. And so we want to prepare for it. So we stop eating, we stop moving around, we turn off our electronic stuff maybe an hour before, a minimum a half an hour before. Right, do that, and then we what do we do? We write down. Unload your mind. Do it. I call it a mind enema. A mind enema is, you know, you sit down and get old school pen, paper, and write down all the things you, you did today and all the things you didn't get to do, should have done. Things that you are on your plan for the week. Things that are on your plan for the short term. You know, try to do all that so that you kind of unload. You've already thought about all the stuff that's going to keep you tossing and turning. You've got, you, you thought about it, okay? And then when you go to sleep, go to sleep. And take take melatonin, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes before, right? And the sublingual, you do that and you get some sleep. And, and I'm telling you, if you go into bed early and you're waking up early, your life will change for the better. Promise, promise.